that, I'm afraid I'm going to swing and hit you. So I lose the piece. Go ahead. Really. Okay. Right here. Realism to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're going to do it right there. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Don't move. I'm all in the room. I don't think so. Well, I'm debating yeah. whether to only put that three wraps on this so they dry and then wrap it again after that's dry. Okay. Instead of all that at one time, it was thick enough. Mm -hmm. It was going to take a couple of days to, and that's what caused it to start stretching. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Larry? I had a pile of wrapping on this, and it was still wet, and it started to stretch, let it break. So should I put like maybe three wraps on here and cut it off and let that dry, and then wrap it with more over the top of that? I mean, if I only put like three wraps and throw it in the sun, it'd probably be dry in 45 still, minutes. You're still glued, right? It's glued, yeah. Okay. What it did, it broke the top piece of wood right there because I had it epoxied on there. Well, the wood was weaker than the epoxy, right. but it didn't break it clear down. It's, it broke the wood down about eh, maybe halfway. Okay. But then I put wood glue in there, so it's set. But the the binding not being dry was right. why it broke because it let it stretch and move. And, yeah. and, but so well, if I Glenn, Glenn took one that I had the other day and just put it next to his fire, and that was almost all day long. We didn't use it. It really worked. Well, yeah, I mean, this is probably not going to be able to be used today no matter what we do at this point, but it would be nice to be able to use it first thing in the morning.